it's not difficult to realize that the answer to this question is no. In fact, in fact, going to the simplest case, which is the case of the uh, uh, small strange case, infinitesimal strange case, if I have these functions, epsilon, as a function of the space and time, and I want to compute the displacements, I realize that here I have six equations. Six equations because I have six strains, six functions. I don't, I don't say nine because yeah, symmetric. symmetric, okay? So six, and now, now I have three unknowns. So that's something that uh, happens in algebraic systems, but also in differential equation systems. We, if you have more equations than unknowns, the system is overdetermined. And then, in general, you don't have any solution. Okay. So it's not difficult to see that in general, in general, that doesn't mean that never, but in general, we won't be able to solve this problem. Given epsilon, find u. Given u, find epsilon, it's just a problem of differentiation. Always can be. But given epsilon, find u, that's not, in general, that's not possible. So we need that these epsilons, not to be any, but fulfill some conditions. Such that the problem, that problem, is no longer overdetermined, and that system of P six PDS, P PDE, which stands for partial differential equation. The partial differential equation system with three unknowns, the three displacements, three functions which are unknown, uh, are integrable. And that those conditions are the one that we're going to examine today, and they are called compatibility conditions. So the reason for that uh, can be also seen some from, from a more physical point of view. Yes. So probably we prefer this kind of reasoning. Imagine just for just for uh, a matter of example, that we sketch here a system of three, three, nine particles, right? Nine particles. And then we just want to impose a certain given strain field to these particles, imposed, that that we wish. And then, of course, for instance, we can say particle one suffers a vertical stretch. So it stretches in that way, so it goes this shape. Particle two, instead, suffers an horizontal stretch, so it goes like that. Particle three, that suffers a vertical stretch again, so it goes like that. Particle four, a large horizontal stretch, like that. Particle five, and a smaller vertical stretch, and so on. Particle six, particle set, seven, particle eight, particle nine. So that is implicitly what we are doing when we impose a certain strain field. And then we want to obtain the, the, the displacement field that corresponds to these strains. Of course, all particles have moved. So I can say that particle eight have, has, has a strain field, a, a displacement field that goes from here to there, particle nine, etc. But I realize that some of our assumptions that we were implicitly assuming in the problem are not fulfilled anymore, which is the assumption continuity. So we assume that the problem is continuous, continuous so that particle one that originally before the deformation was surrounded by particles two, nine, and eight, after the formation should also be contiguous to particles Two, nine, and eight, and that is not the case. There is a gap here, so continuity of the of the medium is broken. If I invent some some strains, I cannot find a continuous because implicitly we went for a continuous displacement field, which is uh, comes out from this from these strains. We have to break something. Either we cannot obtain it, it or if we obtain it, we just uh, break the continuity of the problem. So that's the problem that we are focusing. So in principle, we need some equations, some computability equations, that are equations that restrict the number of strains that we can invent. We cannot invent any strains here. 
Of course, there are a wide number of strains, an infinite number of strains, fields, one for every one, that make the resulting problem continuous. But not any, not any. They have to restrict, that this, we need some equations that restrict the strain fields that are integrable, that define a displacement field, that come out from, a, that would come out from a strain field by, from a displacement field by differentiation. 